Hey everyone, my name is Ronak, and this is Python programming tutorials right from the scratch. This is tutorial number 27, and in this tutorial, I will be covering the matplotlib. So, what really is matplotlib? Matplotlib is a data visualization uh, external module that is being uh, used in Python. So, what really is the need of the data visualization? Now, what really happens is in the field of the data analysis you have a lot of data okay and what you have to do is you have to compute that data in uh, various ways so what really happens is you design a program that computes the data but you really don't know like what is the uh, you know the current status of the data and how does it go well and is like uh, is there any improvement or uh, is the data bad so data visualization actually plays the role over here what it does is it displays the data in a graphical format so that you are able to see the tracking of the data like you can track the data where is it at its uh, highest peak or where was it at its lowest peak so these are the advantages of the data visualization so there are actually many uh, modules for python that provide the data visualization capabilities plotlib is the most basic data visualization uh, module and it is one of the most widely used module and uh, so let's get started so first of all let's just import matplotlib matplotlib and type dot pyplot as plt so now most probably you uh, get the importance of this variable because see this thing is really massive matplotlib.pyplot and you just cannot uh, you know type every time this and then uh, declare the function so plt is you know really convenient so what we can do is uh, actually the uh, you know the computing of the data done for the data visualization is you know uh, usually done with a really massive file or a data set that is extremely big so but uh, for now for the uh, you know a little bit of understanding what i'll uh, do is i'll just you know hard code the values so that uh, you will at least be able to get the basic idea about the matplotlib and by the way if you don't have matplotlib just go to the terminal and pip install matplotlib okay so it says requirement satisfied because I have already installed it. If you have installed Anaconda, you don't need to worry. If you are not using Anaconda, just install it. So let's begin. So what I am going to do is, you uh, actually I will create an array. So let's say import numpy as np. And now let's just create it. So array and let's create something over here okay and the uh, function that is used is plt dot plot so what it will do is it will plot the data for you so let's just uh, place this array inside it okay and now the in order to see the output you need plt dot show so this show is just like the print of the matplotlib now let's just run this thing and this is the line we get of that array okay so if you go over here here yeah, if you are able to see on the uh, bottom left corner of the figure you will see as i move my cursor the values you know fluctuate and it uh, basically gives you the coordinates okay so now what we can do is just uh, you know modify this code a little bit you can also try a multi-dimensional list so just put some another values inside it so let's say 4 or let's say 6 2 and 4 okay and now let's just run this yeah so what it actually does is it plots the multidimensional array so for one it goes till six six then from two it is on the two and from three it goes to the four three and it goes to the four pretty much 
okay so now i hope you get the basic idea about it so now let's just organize the code and let's say plt dot plot oops i'm sorry np dot array first of all we have to just create you know the elements and let's say y1 is equal to np dot array and uh, Okay, so these are uh, some values now what we can do is assign these values separately now I would like to talk something about the titles and legends and labels I'll just uh, type the code and I'll uh, let you know along so first of all let me just plot this thing now it will take two arguments okay and y1 and now there is something known as label so let's just say line or graph one or let's just say one for the one okay and now what we can do is just plot the other thing too so let's just say plot with the coordinates so x2 and y2 <coughs> level and let's say 2 ok so these are the labels of these lines and now there is something known as legend so what this legend is going to do in the uh, corner it will create a box where these labels 1 and 2 along with the color of their lines or the graphs will be displayed ok now we can say plt dot title and what this title is really uh, going to display on the top of the figure so let's say this is matplotlib tutorial okay and now there are uh, i would actually like to discuss a uh, few things so first of all just let me run this thing oh i'm sorry actually no, it didn't show it so show now yeah it runs and now this thing over here is known as legend and uh, these were the labels of the you know line 1 and line 2 and the colors has been assigned so now what we can do is and this is the title okay so now this thing over here is the x axis and this is y axis we can all we can actually also you know name these things so let's just do that so the functions are plt dot x label so x label will actually you know name the x axis so let's just say x axis itself and in the same manner we have plt dot y label let's just say y axis now let's run this again yeah see over here x axis y axis this is the title this is the lab uh, this is legend and this legend holds the labels so here we actually said label 1 for line 1 that is the figure and label 2 okay so these were some of the basics of the matplotlib and I'll uh, actually you know try something else so instead of plot you can just say over here scatter and scatter is actually going to give you a lot of points ok it is going to display in the form of the points ok yeah so these are the points and now uh, let's just cross check them so the blue points which hold the x and y1 so these are 1 2 and 3 see 1 is that so the points go like this so 1 and 4 okay of x 1 uh, uh, of x1 is 1 
y1 is 4 so x1 and 4 this is then we have 2 and 5 2 and 5 then we have 3 and 6 in the same manner we have 4 and 5 so 4 4 and 5 okay then we have 7 and 6 so 7 this is 7 and 6 7 and 6 and then we have 6 and 9 okay so these are scatter points then we have something known as uh, bar so this is actually going to give us the bar chart and we can actually uh, you know give them color too so let's just say color and let's say green for G let's just run this yeah we have the bar chart okay you can see over here 1 and 4 1 and 4 then we have 2 and 5 then we have 3 and 6 in the same manner for green color the one in the green color okay so this is bar and the last one I would like to tell you is the stack plot stack plot is uh, extremely great okay and let me just comment this thing out uh, fill got multiple okay so the label is not allowed in the stack plot yeah this is the stack plot so there are actually uh, a lot of things and what I am going to do is I won't be like I said I won't be able to cover you know each and every thing associated in the matplotlib so I actually gave you a, a general overview of the matplotlib and now what it and now what you can do is you can just explore it for yourself and uh, you know try to get a good grip over it and I might use this thing in f uh, near future just to you know give you the uh, proper visualization of the data and if I uh, in future create any playlist that uh, that of the data analysis this thing is actually very useful and it will be used frequently because we will uh, you know there is something known as data sets and data frames and in uh, order to visualize their uh, you know the peak levels we have ne really need the matplotlib and actually there are a lot of uh, what we say data visualization tools in the python so it's uh, seaborn and bokeh but uh, the most basic thing is the matplotlib and it is actually easy this one is really really easy to plot and uh, so now that you have the idea about the matplotlib so this concludes the tutorial thank you for watching goodbye